multiplying polynomials. In this case, we're actually multiplying three binomials. I'm going to start by multiplying this 3x minus 1 by this 2x plus 3. Because this is multiplication, though, we could start anywhere. But this is the way I'm going to do it. So we're going to be using the distributive law, or extension of the distributive law, to multiply this binomial by this one. So we're going to start with 3x times 2x, which gives us 6x squared. 3x times positive 3 gives us positive 9x. Negative 1 times 2x gives us a negative 2x. Negative 1 times positive 3 gives us a negative 3. Now we're going to gather our like terms and combine them. Uh, the only like terms here are this positive 9x and a negative 2x. So it leaves us with 6x squared plus 7x minus 3. Now we're going to multiply this x plus 1 through here. So that's x times 6x squared gives us a 6x cubed. x times positive 7x gives us 7x squared. x times the negative 3 gives us negative 3x. Now we're going to multiply the positive 1 through. Positive 1 times 6x squared gives us positive 6x squared. Positive 1 times positive 7x gives us positive 7x. Positive 1 times negative 3 gives us negative 3. Now we're going to combine our like terms. We only have one 6x cubed. So we're not going to combine that with anything. So we're going to have 6x cubed. Next, we move on to our x squared, which we have a positive 7x squared and a positive 6x squared. Gives us a positive 11x, positive 13x squared. Then we have our x's, negative 3 plus 7 gives us a positive 4x. And we have our one constant left. This is a negative 3. We've combined all our like terms, so this is our final answer.